This is John for John's Speed. I'm back at the ballpark. This time I have rookie catcher, Gwen Seconds. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. So you, you were drafted uh, third mm -hmm. in 2018. I was. When did you have any idea that you might be drafted? Um, you mean when in the actual draft, or when no, did no, I have no, an I'm idea sorry. that I would? Yeah, like when in college did you, or did um, you in high school, I don't know. Midway through my senior season, my coach came up to me and asked me if I wanted to play pro, because I guess some of the teams were asking, and he let me sit on it for a month or two, and then, or not a month or two, for about a month, and then he asked me, he's like, you, you have to decide this week if you want to play or not, and then when I said yes, I knew, I knew it'd be going at some point. I didn't know when, though. And had you, before he asked you, had you had thoughts of playing in the pro? Yeah, definitely. My, if you had asked me early on in my college career, I probably would have said I didn't want to play, but um, my junior and senior year, I was interested in going pro. Because you've been playing for a long time. You were, at one point, you were the number 16th ranked prep recruit. Uh-huh. Pretty impressive. Thank you. In the, in the countries. So, like, you, when did you start playing? I started playing when I was seven. And then I started catching when I was 10. So you, I mean, you were playing for enjoyment or to try to get to college? Cause... I was originally playing because I was a cheerleader and I didn't want to cheer anymore. So my parents <laughs> told me I had to pick a new sport. Really? Yeah. So that was how I started. And then um, when I was like 13 to 15, I sort of realized that I was decent and that I wanted to go to college for it. So it wasn't so much in the beginning, at least, a passion for the sport. It's always, I've always played more for the fun of the game. Okay. Um, I didn't really know there was college softball until I was probably about 13 or 14. And even then I didn't really follow the World Series, I didn't follow the Professional League, anything like that until, that was later on in high school that I really uh, understood the degree of the, the growth of the game. So what are your impressions, it, it, obviously you played about half a season, what are your impressions of the MPF? Any major surprises? Uh, it's just way different from college. It's it's weird going from an environment where everything is so structured and you have weights at this time and then class and then practice and then it's all of a sudden shifts to, okay, well, it's all on, on you. It's what you want to do. If you want to get better, it's in your hands. So um, that's been way different, but it's really cool. You're treated as a professional, which I think is awesome. And how do you adjust to, um, obviously it's your rookie season, mm -hmm. you're not playing as much as you did in college. Mm -hmm. What kind of adjustments do you have to make for that? Um, I've had some really awesome teammates come up to me, and, and we've had just good conversations about the difference from being a top dog to a puppy and, and realizing that you just have to pay your dues, especially in a league like this where everyone on the team was an All-American or national champion or, you know, X, Y, Z. Everybody here is, is incredibly good, so... Uh, it's just about paying your dues and being ready for the opportunity when it presents itself. Now I saw a couple things on ChicagoBandits.com, plug, uh -huh. plug for the website. Um, <laughs> you are a big hockey fan. Yes, I was growing up. So who were your teams or who were your guys? Um, just like, I'm, a, I'm just a Panthers girl. Anybody that's on the Panthers, I am all about. And I, my dad used to take me and I loved watching the fights and, and the toughness of the guys. They'd get their teeth knocked out and they'd just spit them out and keep going and all that stuff. So I just think hockey's the coolest sport. Any chance we convert you to a Blackhawks fan? <laughs> potentially, or maybe definitely, your two team at least. definitely. That, there's potential for that. Now I also read that uh, you like classic and, and uh, pop rock, yeah. or classic and modern rock. Yeah. So okay, so I'll have to ask you, who are your bands or who are your your musicians? Um, growing up, I was raised listening to Metallica, AC/DC, uh, Pink Floyd, and then. When I sort of was in high school, I switched to like more of a Nirvana phase, but that got a little heavy when I went to college. Now I'm like in this more mellowed out Coldplay phase of my life, but I love it all. That's my kind of music. I If I listen to like rapper stuff for too long, I just get kind of annoyed by it. <laughs> it's not real music in my opinion. Well, well those are all the choices that you <laughs> Thank you. And last question I have for you. Um, first time in Chicago? Uh, no. Okay. First time living in Chicago. First time living in Chicago. Have you done any major sightseeing, or is there anything major you want to see in Chicago? Um, the other day, my best friend was in town, and we went and did everything touristy in the city. We went to the Sky Deck, to Navy Pier, to the Bean, and to some very touristy places. So that was fun. We went and got all that done. I would do it all again. It was super <laughs> fun. Super cool. Well, well then we appreciate your time. We wish yeah. you luck the rest of the season. Thank and, you. And we'll be around bugging you all year. Awesome. Thank <laughs> Thanks. you. Thanks. Appreciate it.